What's up Metas, Hod here and with the new gun, the M416 Autumn, I thought it was time to try a new build with Fortress Warfare. This is the Fortress Warfare Camper build. So this new gun works by dropping a Fortress Warfare area of effect on the ground near your player. And when you're in it, you get 4% heals with this gun, plus you get defensive and attack bonuses natively from Fortress Warfare. So the idea of this build is to sit in your Fortress Warfare and camp and not move. Make yourself very comfortable. And to do that, I've paired it with the Bastille gear set, which gives us crouching buff and extra armor when we're sitting stationary and crouching. And we've also paired it with the leather boots, which give us further heals when in Fortress Warfare. So this role is basically a team support role, and it's a survivor role to give you heals and keep you alive longer and it's going to be very very effective for surviving solo as a lone wolf this build was made in phase one of the way of winter so it's not tier five so do be aware the damage numbers will fluctuate when you get to the next tier and i'll do an updated video at that point so without further ado let's cover the basics of fortress warfare and then we'll cover the gun the gear and how to get it and where to get it and finally the mods to use and the deviant and cradle perks to use as well so fortress warfare is an underutilized build in once human up until now we didn't have many options with this it says as follows fortress warfare creates an area of effect within a two meter radius that grants allies heavy armor for five seconds and weapon damage plus 20 percent so it's heavy armor and weapon damage when you trigger fortress warfare which is the little shield that pops on the ground and glows in a circle around you so basically periodically you'll get this buff and what we want to do is capitalize how often we get the fortress warfare buff and we need to make sure that we're staying inside the area of the fortress warfare which means we can't move around too much that's how fortress warfare works and if your allies are in this radius they get the buff as well so it's a good team buff so now i'll tell you guys how to get this gun and the gear to run with it so we'll start with the gun the the M416 Autumn Equinox is found at the Tundra Monolith where the Secret Servitor boss is and it's found just halfway up the hill sitting on this fence. So this blueprint is really easy to get. So rush it as soon as you can because this gun is awesome. So basically it triggers Fortress Warfare after 7 hits and in Fortress Warfare you recover 4% of max HP and when HP is above 75 you get 25 weapon damage. That's how the gun works. Next up for our sniper, we're actually running the Bullseye Bingo, and you purchase this for 8,000 Starcrom from the Wish Machine, and this gun triggers Bullseye, and I'll explain why it's so good later in the video, but that's the gun we're running. Next up, the rest of the gear we're running is Bastille Head, which is from the Wish Machine. For the chest, we've got the Blackstone Top, which gives us cold and heat resist. We're using Seal Hide to give us even more cold resist on the Way of Winter scenario. So you can obviously change this chest piece. I was thinking about the other piece that gives plus 10 HP to be more tanky, but this is good for this season. Next up, we have the Bastille Pants, and we are again using Seal Skin to get the plus 10 cold resist for the first phase of this season. So we want the full Bastille set to get the full bonuses. Bastille Gloves, and again, we're using Deer Hide here to get logging and mining speed. And for our boots, we're using the Leather Boots, which actually give us HP recovery 2.5% while in Fortress Warfare and the effect doubles when HP is below 50. So when we're in Fortress Warfare, we're getting double heal buffs with the gun equipped and these boots. To get the leather boots, you actually get them from the mailbox riddle on the way of winter in Wishland West. Um, check out the location on Map Genie. It's easy to get. So it just means we're going to have massive heals and be really able to sustain ourselves with these leather boots. I did buy the other ones from the Wish Machine for Fortress Warfare, but I found these were more effective. We have the Bastille Mask for our mask. And that is our four-piece Bastille set with one black stone and our leather boots to finish off the set. So we're really emphasizing the Bastille set's attack bonus and defense bonus here, making the most of sitting still and crouching so that we can maximize the potential of the Fortress Warfare. Because with the Bastille bonus, when we crouch, we get plus 40 weapon damage. And because we're using the Fortress Warfare, we're going to be sitting still a lot so we can take advantage of this. And also when we move, we actually get an armor increase from the Bastille 4-piece set. So we get a 60% extra shield 
after we leave Bastille State after crouching. So that's why this set goes so well with the Fortress Warfare. For our mods in the Assault Rifle, we are running the Portable Territory. So after leaving Fortress Warfare, the status will remain for two seconds. With mods, priority is Weapon Damage, then Crit, then HP or Mag Capacity. But Weapon Damage is very hard to get. We did get on this one. I'm tempted. I might actually enhance that again. But we didn't get what we wanted, so that's unfortunate. So that's what we're running on the Assault Rifle. For the Bullseye, we are running the Bullseye Vulnerability Amplifier, plus 8%, Weak Spot, plus 3.6, and a Mag Capacity later in that. Um, so this means when we hit and switch to the Sniper, we get Weak Spot. Um, we'll, we'll get our Weak Spot on, and the Bullseye will add Vulnerability plus 8, so it means the enemies will take more damage. In the head, we are running Momentum Up Violent. <laughs> This gives us fire rate plus 10 for the first 50% of the mag and weapon damage plus 30 for the next 50% of the mag. We got crit damage on it. Ideally, it would be weapon damage, but we didn't have a roll on it, so that's what it is. And on our mask, we have Fortress Warfare. We have Unbreakable Violent, which is Fortress Warfare range negative 30, but while in Fortress Warfare state, attack plus 15. So the range is shorter, but the attack is better. Again, we've got crit on that. Next up, we have the Munitions Amplifier, which is Weapon Damage plus 15, and we got Crit on that plus 9. Weapon Damage is the best for this build. On our boots, we have Covered Advance, and this means we, when we take no damage, we get plus 20% on our Weapon Damage for 30 seconds. So it lasts for a long time, and we got Crit on that. Now for our chest, we are using Head on Conflict Violent, and this means when we have enemies around us within seven meters, we take we get 10% damage reduction. So we are reduced damage reduction, which means obviously we're tanking even more. And when we get melee damage, we get an extra 10% reduction. And we've got crit on that for the attribute effects. And finally, for our legs, we have bullet siphon violent. Now this means weapon damage plus 5% every five bullets consumed in the magazine. And it grants a plus 4% weapon damage capped at 20%. So we're basically getting an extra 20% weapon damage for every 5 bullets. Every Once we reach 20 bullets, we get that. So again, pretty good. Just maximizing our weapon damage. But for our gun, the accessories we're using is the integrated muzzle, which gives us a bit more um, range, which means that we don't have as much drop-off when we're shooting from a distance. For the optic, we're using the tactical rifle scope. This gave us a bit of everything. I think it gave us a bit more range again. So stability is not too bad because the recoil is not too much in this gun. Then we're using the tactical combine grip. Again, this one gives us good stability. So it helps with the recoil. And we're using extended rifle mag for the extra capacity. So that's the gun accessories. Now we're going to talk our cradle perks. For our cradle perks, we're using anti-void rifles. When using rifles, we get plus 15 damage and 100% damage against super anomalies. We get anti-phase sniper rifles, damage plus 15 and 100% against super anomaly. We've also got on deviant energy defense. So when we summon our deviation, it grants the shield equal to 30% of max HP while the shield is active and weapon damage reduction and status damage reduction. So really good for protecting us again, making us even more tanky when we're sitting still. Then we have tactical combo for weapon damage plus 25 for four seconds after switching or reloading weapons. So when we reload or when we switch to the sniper, we're going to get that plus 25. We also have Deviations Master. While a Deviation is present, damage against the Great Ones is increased by 25%. Um, when we're running in a group, we'll often use side-by-side -side solo. I'll use Lone Walker, and I'll probably switch out from this one. And finally, we have Fortress Link, and Fortress Link means Fortress Warfare range plus 50 with an additional damage boost of plus 5 after activating Fortress Warfare. The Fortress Warfare will appear within 10 meters of a non-hostile target. We also have Steady Hand. So this is the reason we have the Sniper, because while in Fortress Warfare, Weak Spot Damage plus 40 and Weak Spot Damage to the Bullseye plus 20. So we switch to the Sniper, get our Bullseye on and switch back. And then we get this bonus while we're in Fortress Warfare. 
so it increases our damage to the weak spot. Finally, let's talk the Deviant to run with this build. We're using Festering Gel as our deviation so that we can heal and have passive heals down when we're in our Fortress Warfare zone. So because we're focusing on a support role, it's great to have these extra heals so people can come sit in our Fortress Warfare and basically become invulnerable while they're in it because they're getting heals from the Fortress Warfare and we're getting heals from the Festering Gel. So you can literally survive in there for the longest time and you become pretty much tanky and that's why this build is the camper. So finally, let's test it out and show you guys how it performs. I did make a tier 4 gun for this by the way, and if you guys want to do the same, you can actually download the components from your space-time backpack and repair it with the hand, so to be aware of that too on a side note. But basically, the whole aim here is to get the adds down on the Treant boss and then sit still and set up our camp. So I've set up my camp here now, and we are just gonna just make ourselves comfortable and just tank the damage while we rinse the boss. So it's pretty great because these adds are really annoying in this boss fight. And you can see the damage output's still pretty decent, even with this. We have to move for this attack, obviously, which is unfortunate. But we're straight back to our camp. There we go. And now we can just rinse and repeat. There is another Fortress Warfare mod as well you can use on the gun that keeps it up when you kill adds. So if you guys, if you guys are running silos, that might be more effective too, on a side note. But I found this was pretty great. So if you guys did too, please smash a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know in the comments if you guys have been enjoying this build or if you guys are trying something different. And stay tuned for the upgraded version when we get to the next phase.